I mean, where else would Urban Meyer find a platform to speak about what he needs to speak? Who else would support a guy who has done nothing more than win football games? Where else are you going to get the moral fortitude from supporters besides after you admit to lying, having these people show up to say, shame on the reporter. It was such a breath of fresh air to see these 100 people blame the messenger, Brett McMurphy, for reporting the truth after or before Urban Meyer admitted he had lied. I mean, in this great scope of things, I think, when it comes to admitted liar and obvious truth teller, what you have to do is choose admitted liar. And so for these 100 people in Columbus, Ohio, I thank you. Because again, Urban Meyer, what happens to Urban after this? I mean, he's probably tossed out of the street with not a house, not a roof over his head, probably not a dollar in the bank. Where else could he go? I mean, sure, he'll probably get a coaching job within the calendar year. Yes, it might be within 60 days. Yes, he'll make more money in a year than you'll see in your entire life. Sure, he makes $50,000 a day to coach football. And sure, he's been there for like six years, which is barely longer than we've been on the air here on CBS Sports Radio. But at least these 100 people found the time to pull themselves away from another Real Housewives television marathon binge watch. At least for a moment, they put down their cheesy crust pepperoni stuffed frozen pizza to go out there and say, I am here to support the most important cause in America right now, which is Urban Meyer.